Hello, hello, what's up? It's your girl, Twan the Mystic, and I'm back with a collective reading for that ass, okay? <laughs> uh, this reading is for all zodiac signs, so um, yeah, you don't have to be a specific zodiac sign. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Go ahead and light your incense, light your blunts, light your candles, all right, because we're about to get deep and insightful. <laughs> with this reading and if you love accurate pick a cards collective readings you know stuff like that definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button all right all right so let's get into it oh and that notification bell as well all right so let's choose these cards oh and also if you feel called to tip me if you feel called to follow me on social media if you feel called to book a reading all that stuff that information is in my description okay so Seek healing. That's funny. This is the same as the... Okay. Seek healing. Seek healing. Mm, Self-regulation at the bottom. Love. Okay. Talk to the moon. Communicate. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't show y'all this one because these cards are so pretty. Um, day moon, that has love. And then talk to the moon, talk to the moon, communicate. And then follow the moon, watch for signs. Okay, so this is very interesting because first of all, with the seek healing and the talk to the moon, communicate, it's almost like, let me actually put it like this. It's almost like, and then, yeah, for, and then the watch for the signs, it feels like almost like seeking guidance from the moon, seeking guidance from the universe, and then paying attention to the signs that spirit is sending you, especially because I feel like many of you have been praying. You've been praying, you've been asking spirit for signs, you've been praying for these certain things and I feel like spirit has now brought it into your life in the form of signs because some of you guys could be seeing like repeating numbers well I'm sure I'm sure you are if you're following me or watching this I'm sure you see repeating numbers every day but it's like I think there's specific messages that spirit's giving you that's like the answer to your prayers like let's say you're like oh I need a job spirit um someone's gonna hit you up like hey this place is hiring or something like that i don't know it's something along those lines where yeah it's spirit is talking to you through the signs after you've communicated with the moon maybe you set an intention because we did just have full moon in sagittarius this is a timeless reading but as i'm making this we had a full moon in sagittarius and maybe you made um you made a or you yeah maybe set an intention to release because you know full moons usually have to do with releasing so maybe you're, you're wanting to release a job you don't like a living situation you don't like or a lifestyle you don't like like you were releasing something and spirit is now sending you signs letting you know what you should do next. And then I looked down and said 344. Even before I started making this reading, it was 1144. Um, and I know even like 1144, that number has to do with um, something about don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to occur or come about or something. It was something like that. Um, it was, I don't know. It was something like that. But yeah, so I do think there's about to be like some miraculous things. Oh, and then we have night moon. Very interesting shadow work at the bottom because we have day moon love and then night moon shadow work. So many of you, maybe you've been praying about love. Maybe you've been praying about love and Spirit is saying do some shadow work. And when I say do shadow work, I don't feel like you have to be so completely healed to be in a relationship. But of course, those certain triggers where you know it's like, okay, I don't think I should be 
or or not I think I should be, but um maybe just realizing that there's certain things that you're still carrying from past relationships. Those are the type of things that you need to heal or at least try to work through or whatever. But yeah, I think through the inner work, through the inner work, you are attracting love. Through you doing that inner work, you're attracting love, you're attracting friends, you're I think you're yeah, because you've been seeking healing. Yes, okay. Because that's right next to shadow work. So you've been seeking healing. You've been doing work on yourself. Oh, yes. And then we have law of attraction. <laughs> wow, we have the law of attraction, moon mastery. So yeah, I think through you doing the shadow work, you seeking healing, you communicating with the moon, you are, you are attracting new friendships, new connections. Okay, and yeah, watch for the signs also because I feel like you asked for something and now spirit is saying this is what you need to do to attract it. Okay, I, I love these cards. I should have left Law of Attraction out. Um, oh, well, this is the Moonology Messages Oracle, by the way, because I know y'all be asking me what decks I'm using. But what else does this collective need to know, spirit? Dark side of the moon, mystery at the bottom. Moon, maybe intuition. Blood moon, courage. Moon dance celebration. Wow, wow. Look what we have here. Look at that. Would you look at that? And then we have moon goddess, higher power. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like. um, Well, yeah, with moon dance celebration, the fact that it's like a couple on there. Yeah, like I said, many of you guys probably been praying about love and spirit is about to answer your prayers or has answered your prayer because I, I think some of you guys could actually be already involved with this person um yeah maybe you just started seeing someone and that's a gift from spirit or like maybe even if you already are in a relationship and maybe things have been rocky between you guys i see you guys solving the issue um or possibly if, it, if there's no issues that y'all are trying to solve. It could also be some of you guys are about to get engaged, married, married. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna clarify these oracle cards with some tarot, of course. Just trying to keep. Okay. Okay, well, this one has come out. Page of Wands. What else does the collective need to know, Spirit? The Sun at the bottom. Six of Cups. Yeah, you're coming into alignment with some soulmates. Four of Swords. And you're coming into alignment with some soulmates. Um, king of Pentacles, yeah. We have a king, we have a king of pentacles here. Some of you guys have been calling in love because we have ace of wands here. That's passionate. Maybe this person could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in their chart. Um, yeah. But you, a lot of you guys definitely are calling in new love. And if that's not the case, many of you guys are calling in new friends. And I feel like you're also calling in people that can help you. People that can like help you with furthering your career or like financially or something. Maybe some of you guys are about to get like a loan, a grant, getting approved or something. That That kept coming up. In a reading I was doing yesterday, a collective reading. But yeah, um, 
some of you guys could be getting approved for a loan, a grant, um, something like that very soon. Queen of Swords at the bottom. Then we also have Queen of Cups. But yeah, let's see. Three of Wands. Yeah, like I said, something's coming in very soon. That Aries energy is... Because we have Aries, Aries. So yeah, you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be an Aries. We also have Scorpio here. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have Libra. Yeah, we have all the fire signs. Scorpio. Um, Yeah. So let's see. Eight of Cups. So yeah, many of you guys, I feel like this, you're at the end of a phase. You're at the end of a phase of your life where it's like, I feel like your your address about to change, your job about to change, or the position, the level you're at is about to change within your career, your place of residence about to change. Did I say that already? True, some of y'all's last name could be about to change. Um, but it's just it's just giving like a chapter ending. Like this chapter is closed. The door is closed. Like <laughs> the door is closed. Like I feel like yeah, this is the end of a phase of your life. And it's like, you've been praying for this. You've been praying for change. You've been praying for love. You've been praying for better finances. You've been praying a lot. You've been doing a lot of praying. And you're here. Not you're here now, but. <laughs> uh, well, oh, well, actually, you know what? Yeah, you are here now. Some of you guys are here now. Or maybe this is this is happening in the next, like, it's going to start unfolding over, like, the next six months. Okay. Yes, let's get some more. Um, this is Jupiter too. So we keep having Jupiter energy come up. So Queen <laughs> Oh man, we got King and Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. So yeah, some of you guys really are finding love like and y'all are celebrating because this is I don't know, this could be the one. This could be the one for um for a lot of you. I feel like you're you've called in. Yes, cuz you've been talking to the moon. Like you've been talking to the moon, you've been praying, you've been talking to a higher power like, okay, this is what I want in a relationship this is the type of person i want i want this i want that like you know really setting your intentions and spirit was like got you <laughs> heard you and here we go we got king of pentacles so yes or this is some of you because for some of you because we even have yes yeah, six of cups right here you could already know this person but maybe it's like you guys are realizing you know what we are a match this is a good match we make a good match and I, um and realizing like how much you guys mean to each other and then deciding to move forward within this relationship um yeah if this is something that's like a situation <laughs> if this is a situation I think it could be moving more into like a relationship and like yeah like whatever relationship if you are in one right now or dealing with someone and y'all aren't y'all aren't official yet I really feel like it's gonna be ascending to a higher level of commitment and for some of you guys if you haven't you're not dealing with no one I think you're about to meet your boo and my phone just lit up my phone just lit up so mm. <laughs> mm. okay so yeah, I just want to kind of put that right there. But outside of just love, I think is this is also giving the perfect job, the perfect the perfect car, the perfect home, the perfect solution to whatever issue. 
that you've been facing. Okay. Um, let's let's pull some more oracle cards and then we'll leave it there. <laughs> duality, but you see what's so funny about this card that says duality? Look, look at that. It's two birds. <laughs> it's giving twin, and it's just so funny because it came up in my reading that I did for the collective yesterday, but I did it on Instagram that. And then also, um, with Jupiter and Gemini, Gemini is, are the twins. So, and then with Jupiter being such a lucky, you know, lucky planet, it's like, it's giving, well, this is the energy I've been getting from it. It's giving like luck with finding like-minded people, people that's on the same shit you on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all are on the same page. Y'all on the same frequency. So yeah. All right. And that's why some people had to go because it's like, y'all just, y'all aren't aligned, you know, but we have. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Um, I think that spirit trying to say, hey, it's all good. And then look, we have struggle. So that's, <laughs> wow. Okay, spirit heard you. So basically your struggles are over because it it's all good. It's all good now. Your your prayers are being answered. Your manifestations are coming to fruition. Like you've been, this has been a long time coming and it's finally here. So let me go, let me go ahead and choose from the bowl of answers. Also, I forgot. Can't forget to choose from the bowl of damn answers. Okay. I love, I love that you guys love <laughs> the bowl of answers because I have fun making these little um, thingies. So we'll go through these real quick. Work has all of my attention. There's no one else. So first of all, that's making me think that you, your career is moving up, is ascending. You are having luck in your career that you are going to have to focus on. Like some of you guys are about to have more clients, more custom, well, clients, customers, um, more followers, more eyes on you. But this is also making me think of like some of you guys. Um, this new bay or something, this new person or this, it doesn't even have to be a new person. That's, I keep saying new person because it could be for a lot of you guys a new person, but I feel like for, like, even if it's someone you've been dealing with, I feel like they, even if it's a situationship, they want to be committed to you. Okay. And then look, we have all mine. All Mine by Brent Fayaz, but I mean, he's a little toxic. <laughs> Some of his songs are a little toxic, but with this saying, work has all of my attention, there's no one else. And then in this song, he's basically talking about he be gone all the time. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could be meeting, like I said, meeting someone new or you're dealing with someone and they're... um. They work a lot. They be doing a lot, and they're you're. But you're gonna know that there's no one else. Like there's no one else. They only want to be with you. Or even if it's not that they work so much or something like that. I think, like I said, commitment is ascending. The commitment between you guys is ascending to a higher level. Um. But yeah. But um, for some of you guys, if you are with someone, your partner is going to be making more time for you because maybe they, yeah, maybe they work a lot and they're just about to be making more time for you. Oh, shoot. We have, we also have, I don't think I want a relationship right now. That's crazy. Um, but for some reason, I don't feel like that's this new person. Even if it's a new person, I think it started out like this. If it's a new person, oh, you can't even see it. It started out like this, like, oh, you know, uh. <laughs> and then it turns into something else or this could be what you're coming from like where it's like you've been dealing with certain type of people that was that was like this they don't want a relationship and now you're 
not dealing with people like that. <laughs> because you talked to the moon and was like, uh, nah, spirit, get him out of here. But yes, for some of you guys, I think this is how things started out. Like, oh, uh, maybe this could, maybe this is casual. Who knows what this is? And then it turned into something else. Um, then we have health, doctor, specialist, nutrition, herbalist, health products, all natural products, sexual health, therapist. So maybe some of you guys could be, oh yes, yeah, seek healing. <laughs> we do have seek healing. So some of you guys could be doing more research on like herbs. You could feel called to go to the doctor. Um, you could be, I don't know why I'm hearing yoni steaming. That could be good for you because um, yoni steaming, especially with women um, and wanting to like attract new love or clear from the past, like clear things from the past. Um, Yoni steaming is really good for that because it, you know, cleans out past energy, like cleanses past energy, you know. Beautiful hair. Someone likes your hair. <laughs> or this could be you um, changing up your look. Maybe it's time to change up your look. Say affirmations to heal your financial situation. So yeah, like I said, you've been talking to the moon. You've been setting your intentions and stuff like that. And I feel like your affor your situation is about to change if it's a little shaky right now. But it's also making me think of seek healing. Okay? And it's, it's also making me think of how maybe you've... Um, been saying spirit i only want certain type of connections around me um i only want certain type of people around me and yeah you're bringing in like people that are healing for your your spirit nice voice okay so clearly someone likes your voice but also i think affirmations like i said this is a great time to say affirmations write down your intentions Get clear on what you want to do. You know, things like that. Do you want me to? See, that's why I feel like that I don't want a relationship right now. I feel like that's how it was at first where you're like, mm, uh, or this other person was like, mm, uh, but know when people fucking playing on your head top. Know when people are doing that. But I think for some of you guys, you went into something with someone where you're just like uh maybe i don't want a relationship right now this could just be casual then it turns into do you want me to like <laughs> oh for some of you guys um yeah or i also feel like for some of you guys this is a person spinning the block and being like that was like oh i didn't i don't want a relationship and now they're like um, uh, well, do you still want me? That that could be for a select few. Taurus, you could be a Taurus. I was about to say Gemini. Um, but maybe you have Gemini in your chart. So yeah, Taurus season could have been significant. Okay, um, maybe that was the beginning of something. But yes. But this also makes me think that you are finding way more stability and being able to rest more and things like that. Get away, yup. See, you're gonna be able to rest more. You're you're entering a different phase of your life where everything is all good. Of course, life is life be life and stuff like that, but I feel like you're entering a phase of your life that's a lot easier. Like things are just easy, they just come to you easily. Time to play, yeah. See, time to play. Time to play. Like, I see you having more time to play. Like, you, you, yeah, it's like you have more time or you have more money or you have more time and money. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Self-love, self-care, pamper yourself. Yep. See, that's that Taurus energy right there. But I also, it just makes me think of what I said, that time to play because I think you're, yeah, you have more time to rest. You have more time to like do the things you want to do for yourself. 
And then we have On My Mama, Victoria Monet. So yeah, you looking good. And I think it's because you've been taking care of yourself. But I also feel like it's because you've been doing shadow work. You've been working on releasing certain shit from your past. And then we have Take a Chance on that money-making venture. Um, so, yep, y'all finances are going up. And I even see for some of you guys with this king and queen of pentacles, I see you in partnership with your bae, like business partnership with your bae, your friends, um, something like that. And then people are intimidated because you're powerful. Yeah, you, you're stepping into a position of power. Like I said, um, I think I said that about your career. Yeah. And then we have save money for that important purchase. purchase. So, yeah. Yep, money going up, okay? So if that was your reading, if it resonated with you, let me get a moon emoji in the comments because we was talking about talking to the moon at least like 30 times, okay? <gasps> so make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell if you feel called to tip me. Um, that information is below. If you want to follow me on social media, that's below. If you want to, what's it called? Buy my art, book a reading, all that good stuff is in the description below, okay? I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.